Welcome to the Factory Cat Micromag Preventative Maintenance Video Number 2 of a two part video series. Undercarriage Maintenance. Next, reclip the two clips to the frame assembly and tilt the machine back as demonstrated here. Remove the brush or pad driver assembly by releasing the spring clip as shown here. Inspect the brush hub assembly for any type of excessive wear as well as the spring locking clips to ensure that they are in good working order as demonstrated. Also inspect the peripheral inlet holes in the block assembly to make sure that they are clear of dirt and debris. If found, clean accordingly. If your Micromag is equipped with a brush assembly, check for the level of brush wear. Once the brush bristles have less than a quarter inch of bristle life, the brush should be replaced. Next, inspect your brush hub assembly for any type of strings or debris that may be caught around the subassembly. If found, clean accordingly and make sure that the hub spins freely, as demonstrated here. Check your skirt assembly for any type of wear or damage and examine the front two casters to ensure that they spin freely and are free of any types of strain, dirt, and debris. If found, clean accordingly. Lastly, make sure to lubricate the two zerk fittings found on the top of the caster assembly on a monthly basis to ensure proper operation. Lastly, inspect the ground chain located behind the transaxle assembly. Make sure that it is in proper working condition and free of any dirt and debris. At this point, make a note of any parts or repairs that are required from the undercarriage maintenance. Recovery System Inspection Remove the squeegee hose from your micromag and inspect it for any type of wear or damage. Inspect the hose cuffs and confirm that the wire tie for the P-trap is securely in place. Reinstall after inspection. Next, turn the vac rocker switch to the on position and test the vacuum system for proper static lift. A static lift gauge will be required to conduct this test. The static lift gauge should read 50 inches or higher to meet manufacturer specifications. If spec is not met, a detailed inspection of all the seals, hoses, and vac motor assembly needs to be done to determine the cause of poor vac performance. Squeegee Maintenance Next, engage the squeegee raise and lower handle back and forth to ensure that it is properly secured and that the squeegee assembly raises and lowers properly. Inspect the squeegee lift cable for any type of excessive wear. Next, check the squeegee bracket assembly to ensure that it is in proper working order. With the squeegee off the ground, rotate the bracket left and right and inspect the squeegee bracket assembly for any type of damage or wear. The bracket assembly should swing freely. Lubricate with a lithium grease if needed. Lastly, make sure the squeegee bracket is free of any dirt and debris. Located on the right top side of the squeegee assembly is an embossed number that designates what size squeegee your machine is equipped with. Please use this number for reference when ordering squeegee blades. When examining your squeegee assembly, first check the two squeegee lock knobs for proper operation as demonstrated here. If required, clean and lubricate the threads. Next, inspect the two rear bogey wheels to ensure that they turn freely and are free of dirt and debris. The bogey wheel should be one quarter of an inch off the ground when the squeegee is sitting level as shown here. Also check to ensure that the bogey wheels assemblies are mounted 90 degrees to the squeegee assembly itself as shown. Located on each end of your squeegee assembly are two roller wheels. Inspect these wheels to ensure that they spin freely and are free of any type of damage or wear. Next, inspect the stainless steel wing nuts that they are free of damage and are clean. Next, check the front wiping squeegee blade. 
it is important that this blade is free of any type of wear and damage. Next, make sure that the channel assembly is clean and that the center intake port is free of any type of debris. Lastly, check the rear wiping blade. Make sure that this is in proper working order and also that the squeegee retainment band is clean and free of any type of damage. Your Micromag squeegee assembly is equipped with eight stainless steel wing nuts that hold the squeegee assembly together. Once these are removed with the retainment band, your wiper squeegee can be replaced. Note, your wiper blade can be flipped once for reuse on the opposite edge. Note, when removing the squeegee bolts to replace the rear squeegee blade, it is important that they are replaced in the exact same order as removed. Please refer to your Micromag's owner's manual for more details on squeegee blade replacement. Battery Charger Maintenance your Micromag is equipped with an OEM 24 volt automatic battery charger. On the face of the charger is located the on off switch, charger status indicator lights, and battery type indicator switch. The switch should be set to the type of batteries you have installed in your Micromag auto scrubber. Next, inspect your Anderson plug that is located on your battery charger. Make sure that it is in proper working shape and free of any type of wear or damage. Also inspect the cord to ensure that it is in good working order as well. Lastly, inspect the AC power cord and plug to confirm that these are free of wear and damage. Located on the lower center rear of your control panel is the red charge port plug. Inspect this plug for any damage. If everything is found in proper order, plug the charger into the 110 volt outlet with the AC plug and plug the red Anderson plug into the charge port as demonstrated here. Turn the charger to the on position as demonstrated and confirm that the green indicator light turns on as shown. This charger is fully automatic and will automatically turn off when the batteries are fully charged. For more detailed information on your battery charger, consult your charger's owner's manual. At this point, mark on your preventive maintenance form any parts or repairs that are required of your charger assembly. For more information about your Factory Cat Micromag, you can contact us on the web at www.factorycat.com. Once on the site, click on the Scrubbers tab, then scroll down and click on the Micromag tab. Located just underneath the picture frame are eight icons that will give you all the information that you need on your Micromag Scrubber. It's just that easy. For more information about this product, feel free to contact Factory Cat Incorporated at www.factorycat.com or call us toll free at 1-800-634-4060. We're Factory Cat, putting the power of the cat to work for you.